Now before I get into some cuts, I'm sure there's some things right off the bat that you guys are going to hate. It's pretty flexy. Like, it's got some nice bend to it. The steel bar, it's a lot stiffer. This premium light, it's got some nice flex. So, that being said, let's see how she cuts. Okay, I've acquired a bigger chunk of wood. It's still not as a full length bar size. I don't have one here. So I'm going to demonstrate putting in a face cut there and we'll see how this does. It's on a block of firewood. It's not going to be the best demonstration, but it's what I got. So bear with me. So, fear unlocked with this bar. If you bend it that at all, and you hit that throttle, that chain's coming off. This is an unfortunate feature with this bar, is that flex. Ah, see if my cut's lined up. Yes, they did, but you better not touch that throttle while you're, uh, Got your barbin up like that. You know, sometimes if you're pulling away from the stump, you'll be part way in the tree and you'll have the saw resting in the cut and you're snipping some fiber off as it goes. You gotta kick your chain off. So, uh, yeah. I'll have to loosen it to get it back on, I think. Well, oh, maybe there we went. I don't like that. is pulling the chain out of the rail. Not sure I'd recommend this bar, honestly. It, uh, let's see if I can get this right here. It's got flex this way as well. So not only do you have this, you also have this. And if you're wiggling it around too much in the cut, you will throw that chain off. It's a pretty bar, Samara. I will run it. We will see how it does, but first impressions aren't good. It, it needs to be a stiffer steel. I mean, I like that this is all, whatever their insert is, aluminum or plastic or whatever, that's good but they needed to strengthen up their steel a bit more. Yeah, so there you have it. 